If your vehicle is equipped with our optional Video Entertainment System, or VES, now that's entertainment. VES includes the following components for rear seat entertainment. An LCD screen integrated into the overhead console, a touchscreen radio to play CDs and DVDs, a two-channel remote control, two sets of headphones, and an integrated remote control storage compartment. Audio Video RCA jacks, or AUGS jacks, located on the rear of the center console, enable the monitor to display video directly from a video camera, connect video games for display on the screen, or play music directly from an MP3 player. You may have up to eight different modes to choose from, AM, FM, Sirius Radio, DVD, Hard Disk Drive, Sirius Backseat TV, AUGS in Radio, AUGS in Rear. Now, this is something you'll love if you have a diverse group of passengers. Up to three different modes can be played at the same time. For instance, the front seat passenger or passengers can listen to music from their MP3 player through the cabin speakers. At the same time, a back seat passenger can view a DVD on screen while listening through headphones set on channel 1. And yet a third passenger can listen to their favorite radio station on channel 2 through a second set of headphones. Now that's pretty cool. First, we'll walk you through the touchscreen operation. Using the touchscreen or the remote control, you can access easy-to-use menu-driven functions. Let's say you have kids in the back seat who want to listen to the radio. You can select their channel and mode using the touchscreen. Start by pressing the menu hard key. Next, touch the rear VES soft key to access the channel mode select screen. Now, touch the desired channel, then mode they are going to use. If they want to listen to FM, touch FM, and so on. Just like on the touchscreen, you can select channels and modes by using your remote control. Move the screen selector switch to channel 1 or 2 on your remote control. When the selector switch is in the channel 1 position, the remote operates the functionality on channel 1 on the left side of the screen. When the selector switch is in the channel 2 position, the remote will operate the functionality of channel 2 on the right side of the screen. Press the Mode button and use the arrow keys on the remote to toggle through modes on the screen. Then simply press the Enter button to activate the desired mode. Say they want to watch a DVD or listen to an audio CD. Start by pressing the Open Close hard key. The touchscreen display will open, allowing you to insert a single disc. Insert the disc, label side up, and the touchscreen display will automatically close. Once the disc is loaded, playback begins with the first available track or file. DVD playback may take up to 10 seconds. Some menu functions can be controlled by the radio touchscreen, as well as the steering wheel mounted controls if equipped. If you want to access the DVD menu, press the DVD menu soft key. Use the arrows on your screen or remote to toggle through chapters or scenes. To fast forward or rewind through scenes or audio tracks, use the arrow soft keys. To pause, simply touch the pause button on the screen. Press the open close hard key when you want to remove the disc. If the disc is not removed from the player and the open close hard key is pressed again, the disc is reloaded back into the player and play resumes from the previous position. You'll be able to do all these same functions by using the remote control which operates similar to any DVD remote you may have used before. If you just assume the kids didn't play with the remote, press the Menu Hard key, Rear VES Soft key, and then the Lock Soft key, and then touch Continue. A lock symbol appears on the display. To reactivate the remotes, press the Menu button, Rear VES Soft key, then Unlock, and then Continue. If you leave a DVD or CD playing when you are ready to exit your vehicle, note that when the ignition is turned off, the system remembers the current playtime of the disc, so playback resumes from the same position after the ignition is turned back on. It is possible to eject the disc with the ignition off, but discs can only be loaded when the ignition is on. If your vehicle is equipped with a 6-disc CD-DVD player, it will work in a similar way. Please refer to the Owner's Information DVD for complete details and other important safety information.